Microsoft recently announced a new feature for Microsoft Teams, background noise removal. No more dogs barking, no children yelling, no noise from TVs, nothing. Everything, actually almost everything, is suppressed. The way Microsoft can do this is by identifying two different types of noise, non-stationary and stationary noise. Stationary noise is something that is constant, like traffic or the computer fan or the air conditioning. Non-stationary noise is more challenging, but it includes noises like the ones you hear in the background. Microsoft is now able to eliminate non-stationary noise using machine learning. To do so, thousands of speakers and hundreds of different types of noise are collected. The samples are then used to create a training set. The set is then used to create a model that can distinguish which signal is the speech and which one is the noise. The same model is then trained to deliver only the speech. The trade press has reported interviews in which Microsoft managers said that they can't isolate the sound of human voices since they occur at similar frequencies. Well, apparently somebody can. Hi Auto is a company based in Israel but with close links to Silicon Valley. And this is a demo presented by the CEO Roy Bahara at the Voice of the Car Summit, a virtual conference we attended recently. According to the company, there are three methods to eliminate the noise. One is to use a machine learning algorithm, as Microsoft does, which, as we have seen, cannot isolate other speakers. A second solution is to use multiple microphones, which is effective but costly and cumbersome, since every speaker has to have its own microphone. And then there is the high auto approach, using a camera for lip reading. Let's hear it from the founder. Uh, we are using a camera and a microphone and a deep learning algorithm that is tracking the lips of the speakers and then is able to extract from the overall noisy sound the audio track of the specific speaker. So for example, in this uh, Zoom call, if you know both of us are talking, we can actually create two separate uh, streams. And if there is ambient noise, all of this ambient noise will disappear. The technology has been developed mostly for the car industry and for a future scenario in which self-driving cars can understand voice commands. Here is another example. I want a large cappuccino. I want an espresso with soy milk. Can I get your tickets to the Grand Canal station? Fine Thai restaurants next to 21st Street. Fine Mexican places. With at least four stars in our I want a large cappuccino. I want an espresso with soy milk. Can I get your tickets to the Grand Canal station? Fine Thai restaurants next to 21st Street. In a recent video, we showed how robots are getting smarter and they too could become a better listener if their vision system can match sound with the lips movement of a human. Smart TVs can also have a camera that can match lips to voice to isolate the single speaker that is giving a command to change channel, for example. Really, any technology with a camera is a candidate for some suppression. And since remote working applications like Zoom and Microsoft Teams are also based on video communication, we could see the technology used to silence a speaker, as long as the team manager is aware of the legal boundaries.